is happening, Magnus Sites. So they gave us a Loki trailer too at D23 that we did not get to see. And the wonder's gonna break it down, so let's get it. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder, where we talk all things Marvel and MCU. I'm your host, Warren Thompson. And if you've been following the channel recently, or just been following Marvel news in general, you know that this past weekend was Disney's D23 yes, Expo. It was, and sir. Marvel Studios, along with Lucasfilm, had their panel this past Saturday. Now, during this panel, a lot was revealed about Phase 5. <laughs> we got the official cast for the Thunderbolts. We found out part. that the leader is returning and is going to be the main villain of Captain America 4. And during their presentation, they revealed a lot of new footage and a lot of trailers for Phase 5 projects. Yesterday, I went over the footage that was shown for Black Panther 2 Wakanda Forever. And today, we're going to be going over the Loki Season 2 footage that was shown. And also some new Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania footage that was shown. We'll be oh. linking that to Loki Season 2. And Kevin Feige also did confirm some major things about Quantumania that connect directly to the Avengers of the King Dynasty. So, we'll be okay. breaking all of that down in this video, and of course, if you're new to the channel and want to stay up to date on all the latest Marvel news, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest videos. So, the Loki Season 2 footage that was shown at D23 is quite interesting. One scene in particular kind of offers us some clarity of what we saw at the end of Loki Season 1, where Loki found himself back inside of the TVA and he went up to Mobius, but Mobius had no idea who he was. Then, Loki noticed that where there used to be statues of the three timekeepers, there was now a statue of Kang. And at the end, it really seemed like the multiverse was broken. And it gets even more weird with this footage. In this preview footage, we see Loki back at the TVA. He is reading a manual before he greets somebody off screen. But in the middle of his hello, Loki actually glitches. And the reason that he glitches is that he isn't actually supposed to be there. And he glitches plenty more in the scenes to follow. We see a scene of Loki mm. fighting his way down a hallway, and he's still glitching. We then see Loki get ripped through time, kind of like somebody is dragging him through different timelines. It's definitely not on his own will, so it seems like Kang is the one who is actually pulling him through multiple different timelines. We then hear him say, I've seen terrible, awful things. We also see a scene of Loki chiseling away at the walls of the TVA to reveal the big brass face of Kang the Conqueror. Loki hmm. looks at the wall and says, war is on its way. We then get introduced to a new Secret character, War? the famous actor Ki Hoi Kwan appears to be playing a TVA archivist. We know that Loki looked through the archives at the previous TVA. So I'm Might assuming that Jackie this character Chan is right going there. to be there to show us that the TVA data, is not the same as the one that we knew before. And I'm sure that the archives are all going to be different than the previous TVAs. In fact, the whole history of this particular TVA is probably going to be very different. In fact, it does kind of show that in the final scene, which we'll talk about in just a bit. But before the final scene, we see a couple of other scenes. We get a glimpse of an old Hollywood movie premiere, and we see Sylvie listening to records in a music shop. Loki and Mobius get a fun costume change as we see them in old vintage tuxedos. They could be on their way to that old Hollywood movie premiere that they showed. We're not really too sure what this scene could be about. They're probably looking for somebody at some point in time. But if you recall, we've actually seen photos of these. They were released very recently, some set photos of Loki in costume in a tuxedo, and of course of Owen Wilson in a tuxedo as well. We then see Loki falling through the middle of the TVA building, which I'm assuming is at the end of him being ripped through time. But here's the final scene, and it's actually quite cool. We see Loki and Mobius sitting across a lunch table from each other, just like we saw in the very first season. However, you can tell that things are very different. And then we see Loki say to Mobius, I don't want you to think I'm the bad guy in all of this. And Mobius says, who says you were? Loki says, Iron Man, Captain America, Hulk, Black <laughs> Widow, Hawkeye, Phil Coulson, Thanos, Nick Fury, Four. my father, my brother, Miss Minutes, you, in which <laughs> Mobius just looks at him and goes, hmm. And that was the footage that was shown for Loki Season 2 <laughs> at D23. <laughs> and as you can see, it is quite interesting. It's been established now that the TVA that we saw Loki at at the end of Season 1 is a completely different TVA. 
When Sylvie killed He Who Remains, they really did shatter the multiverse. And we don't really know the whole entire rules of the multiverse now that it's broken. Could there be more than one TVA? Overall, nobody at the I guess if it's TVA a multiverse. Loki is at knows him. But throughout this trailer, the overall vibe is that Loki is trying to warn them of what is to come. He's trying to warn them about Kang the Conqueror. And it looks like Kang might actually know about Loki as we see Loki being ripped through time. I can only assume that this is Kang because he is the one who is the master of time. But of course, it could always be the TVA if they do perceive Loki as a threat, which they probably do. But again, now the multiverse is broken. Whereas before, the TVA was dealing just with a sacred timeline, and now they are dealing with a bunch of different timelines. So who knows where their heads are at right now? But make no mistake, one thing that we have learned is that the TVA is definitely not the same. Now, of course we know that Loki Season 2 is going to directly connect with Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania. Quantum Mania is coming February 2023, and Loki Season 2 will be coming in the summer of 2023. And Ant-Man Quantum Mania is going to serve a very, very important purpose, and that is to introduce Kang the Conqueror, a true Kang the Conqueror. Now, yes, the movie, of course, is important in many other ways, like introducing Cassie Lang as stature, bringing Hope back, Janet Van Dyne, Hank Pym. Overall, it's going to be a very important movie, but it's the first time that we're going to see the true Kang as a villain. Not he who remains, but a Kang the Conqueror. And Kevin Feige did confirm at D23 that Ant-Man 3, Quantum Mania, is going to set up in a very, very direct way Avengers the Kang Dynasty. Now, of course, okay. we assume this, but keep in mind, Kevin Feige has already confirmed that there are going to be multiple variants of Kang. They did also confirm right. on stage at D23 that Loki Season 2 is the project that connects the entire multiverse together. So, Loki okay. Season 2 and Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania are going to be extremely important projects leading into the Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars. Now, they did show footage of Ant-Man Quantumania, which we'll talk about. A lot of it is the same as before, but it does have some new parts added to it. In the footage that was shown at D23, we see Scott Lang having lunch with Jimmy Woo. Jimmy Woo is returning. We see Cassie, his daughter, showing her dad a machine that is sending a signal into the quantum realm. Janet tells her to turn it off, but then the machine sucks the whole family into the quantum realm. There we see Bill Murray. We see Kang the Conqueror telling Scott Lang, You're an Avenger. Have I killed you before? Which again is an insanely cool line. I love it. But perhaps the biggest reveal of the new footage that was shown for Ant-Man Quantumania was the fact that Scott Lang has to perform a heist for Kang the Conqueror. Apparently, Kang tells Ant-Man that he took something from him or he lost something due to some of his actions. So, Kang holds Scott's daughter Cassie hostage and says that if he wants to get her back alive, he'll have to perform a heist for him to get something for him. Now, at this point Jeez. in time, we have no idea what this is. But I am assuming it's something relating to the multiverse and the quantum well, realm, since Ant-Man is the one who has the ability to go in the quantum realm. It could be <laughs> some ancient relic from a cosmic entity that affects the multiverse. Whatever it is, I'm really excited to find out. I'm really excited to watch this movie and especially see it connect to Loki Season 2 and to see them both connect to the Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars. So that's it for the footage that was shown for Loki Season 2 and the new footage for Ant-Man Quantum. To mania okay. let me know what you think about it in the comments down below and let me know what you think Kang could be searching for that he needs ant-man to get please don't forget to like the video and of course subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the latest mcu news for live updates you can follow me on instagram and twitter and as always thank you all so much for watching wolf love well, i'll tell you this um i would have to say loki loki and ant-man i'm not too excited about i mean the Loki season one was okay with me, and I really liked the first Ant-Man movie. The second one was okay. So we'll see what they do with this. Um, you know, the way Marvel links things sometimes it makes it really... They do things really cool, the way they link things sometimes. So, you know, these definitely... I mean, I'm going to watch them anyway. Loki is my favorite villain until, I, until Thanos, so I'm definitely watching it. Should be very interesting. Thank you for the update, Cosmic Wonder. Make sure you guys subscribe to him. Tell him Tyrone Magnus sent you. If you enjoyed my reaction and thoughts to this, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and share. 10 million subscribers. Woo!